just reached midnight of uh, day five and um, this is the night we're supposed to meet up in Prague. So today we tried to get through Germany and we managed. We got to, we got to Frankfurt um, and then from Frankfurt we got a guide that got us all the way, six hour drive to Munich. We haven't made it to Prague, but we're enjoying Austria, uh, which no one else is. And we got some beers. And we met Thomas that got us on this train for free. We jumped his, uh, his uh, group ticket, so we got on for free, which is absolutely sick. And there's Rob. He's looking very lost. <coughs> There's a lot of bags. As you can hear, it is midday in Salzburg. Um, we're taking the morning off to do another city visit. And uh, we just made it up the castle, which is just behind me. We had some amazing views from up there. And um, yeah, we're just gonna explore some more, get lunch here. And the aim of today is to get to Vienna. So cross, cross the whole of Austria and uh, see where that takes us. Reckless, We've got our uh, first lift of the day and we've been dropped off at this uh, service station and I think it is the service station with the best view I have ever seen. Have a look at that. We can see all the Alps from here. And a wild death. Hello. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. The fire. I, I get the, the drums outside, uh, out of the car, okay. and they get a, a, a third blanket for you. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, because my my. Danube. This is not the Danube, it's the channel of the Danube. Ah, okay. <laughs> because a lot of people always say, oh, the Danube. We finally made it to Vienna this evening. Uh, we managed to get a lift off an Austrian guy. Um, he took us, he's not Austrian, he's German. We finally made it to uh, Vienna this evening. We got a lift off an Austrian guy. Um, he's not Austrian, oh my god. We finally made it to Vienna this evening. Um, we got a lift off a German guy who lives in Austria, he lives in Vienna. He also gave us the keys to his apartment for the night, which is absolutely insane, it's super trusting. So he has a spare apartment, and this is it at the moment. Like, it is super, super gorgeous, super homely. Um, so the plan for the evening is go out and uh, get, some, get some good food, try and uh, explore the city center, and tomorrow we're attacking Slovakia. You want some schnitzel, y'all? Vienna is brilliant, Vienna is great. Everybody's enjoying Vienna. Pretty nice jewellery, isn't it, Rob? Hell of a lot of man, isn't it? <laughs> Get in the bin. Strange motions, like a shift in the flow. A change coming, it's inevitable. It is nine o'clock in lovely Slovakia. Um, we are in Nitra, which is about halfway, halfway between um, Bratislava and what is it, Banska? Banska. We're trying to get to near the national park. So we managed to make it to Bratislava today, 
and then we're about we're stuck in Nietzsche basically we couldn't get further it was too late no one was going there so we're gonna try and get a bus because we're already taking a detour to get to uh, Cluj on Tuesday we may take a massive detour to try and get to this national park so we're gonna take the bus try and get there Oh, it is eight o'clock on day eight, Whew, and we are in the Slovakia mountains in the national park. We're taking the morning off um, to basically get to a viewpoint to explore the wildlife here because it's absolutely incredible. We don't want to miss it. So we've got a about two and a half hour hike ahead of us, very steep, and uh, yeah, we're going to see some pretty cool views once we get to the top. Shell has once again delivered us a fantastic Slovakian view. Ooh. Absolutely stunning. The tour of the petrol stations continues. It is around midnight in uh, in Slovakia and we are walking in the very, very empty streets of, uh, I think it's pronounced Kovice, something like that. It's in the complete east of Slovakia. So we did manage to cross Slovakia today. Um, so we are very close to the Hungarian border, which is exactly where we need to be. And tomorrow it is the last stretch, cross through Hungary and right into Cluj Napoca to make it to the end. My hostel bed in the Slovakian Slovakian place is very high up and I'm low key scared for my life. <laughs> I'm gonna break a limb if I fall off. Mr. Emu. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello. Peekaboo. Finally on day nine, we have made it to Romania, to Cluj. Day nine slash, well, day 10. It is uh, currently 2 a.m. in Cluj. Got a bit stuck today. We made it out of um, Slovakia quite easily, very well. Um, halfway into Hungary, we got around the Brechen and we got stuck there and we just couldn't get out. We got stuck at a really crap petrol station. So we had to kind of, we ran out of time. We took too much of a detour. So we had to f basically accept defeat and um, to make sure we got there in time, we got a train. It took us about six, six odd hours, I think. So happy to be here. It's taken us about 3,000 kilometers. In nine days, we've covered nine countries and we've taken over 30 lifts. It's been absolutely insane.